iOS 11 is now here and official and bringing a bunch of cool new features to your iPhone and iPad. Now, besides the big features, which I actually did a video on uh, that you can check out the link below if you're curious on that, there are a few lesser known or hidden features that I think deserve some attention. First up, your videos and images will magically take up less space on your phone. The reason for this is that in iOS 11, Apple has now switched over to HEVC, AKA H.265 video and HEIF images, which stands for high efficiency video codec and high efficiency image format. These newer formats allow the device to take photos and videos with the same quality, but at a much smaller end file size. Great for those who are constantly running out of storage. Speaking of storage, iOS now has better storage management. The once called storage and iCloud usage option in settings is now just iPhone storage and has a better at a glance look of everything on your iPhone. It'll also provide quick recommendations and allow you to take action on them right there and then, by the way, to help with running out of storage, like deleting old conversations automatically, moving messages to iCloud and off the device, offloading apps you haven't used in a long time, etc. Now, QR codes are those little blocky images that you might have seen around somewhere uh, that actually will do an action whenever you scan them with your phone, like either take it to a website, open an app, etc. There are two problems with this. One, your average person doesn't really know what these QR codes actually are. And two, most people don't have the app that they need to scan the QR codes on their phone when they run into a QR code. In iOS 11 though, you can now use your normal camera to scan them, no separate app required. I imagine this might also inadvertently make QR codes just slightly more popular. Now this next feature is really just solving a pet peeve of mine, but hear me out. iOS 11 has now added the location access option to all apps of only letting the app use your location while the app is open. Before this, developers had to add this option into their app and out of laziness or some other reason, a lot just didn't. So you were forced to choose between allowing all access or none and choose between the app draining your battery or just not being able to use location. This new option, however, is just better. Safari and its mission against ads, <coughs> fight against Google, um, has added yet another feature to wart off ads on the web. This one now stops sites from being able to track you when you go from site to site. Now this is usually done by creating a cookie that is put on your device's browser and allows advertisers to follow you around the web with that ad for shoes that you looked at but never actually bought. This new feature essentially blocks that cookie so you'll still see ads but not the following kind. I'm pretty sure that Google has already figured out a way around this a little bit though and you can read my article on that below if you're interested. Uh, regardless though, still a neat hidden feature for those that don't want the ads. Now you guys, a few of the hidden features uh, that I thought you guys might find interesting. Uh, there are a few more, uh, but I couldn't squeeze them into this video, so click the link below to be taken to the article on my site if you want to check out the rest of those. There you guys, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. If you want more videos like this, check out my channel. And if you like what you see there, please subscribe. As always though, thanks for watching.